Today we'll be taking a quick look at all three of Amaran's new Pixel Tubes. I'm holding the one foot PT1C and behind me are the two and four feet variants, the PT2C and PT4C. Now compared to the previous tubes we had from Amaran, the T2C and T4C, these new ones, the PT24 and 1C, P for pixel, these gain the ability to have individually controlled pixel zones and these new tubes now have built-in non-removable batteries. There's definitely pros and cons to that. If a battery, say, were to run out mid-shoot, you can't just swap in a fresh one. And if you were flying with these, you can't check the lights in and hand carry the battery. But what you do get is a clean end-to-end -end look with no battery module sticking at one side. All three tubes are RGBWW. In bicolor mode, you do get GM tint adjustability. And for RGB output, your only option is HSI. Effects are then split into two categories, the standard solid color effects and the pixel effects, which include some chase modes, a pixel fire, and a rainbow effect. In terms of independent pixel zones, the one foot gets four pixels, two feet gets eight, and four feet gets 16. So it's actually the same density of pixels across all three models. For the PT1C with only four pixels, it might struggle a bit with the chase effects, especially when you compare it against something like the MT Pro, which has a lot of zones for a one foot. That being said, for some other effects like pixel fire, four zones on the PT1C should do just fine. The range of output possible with these tubes are also remarkable. They go bright enough for you to light subjects with, but they can also be dimmed low enough to be used as practicals even in dark scenes. With the built-in controls, they dim at 1% increments, but you can actually control them in 0.1% increments using Cytus Link. They also dim incredibly smoothly. All three of these tubes have a full color LCD display and they charge via USB-C. That same USB port can also be used to connect a USB to DMX adapter sold separately because these tubes are compatible with DMX. On each end of the tubes, you'll also find a 3 8 inch mounting thread. And while the PT2C and the PT4C get the exact same treatment in terms of hardware, just in different lengths, the PT1C does have some things on it done slightly differently. For example, you get soft carrying cases with the PT2 and 4C, while the PT1C comes with just a pouch. Only the two and four feet variants come with a 45 watt USB-C power supply. The one foot ships with just a type A to type C cable. The PT2C and PT4C also come with two clip-on brackets each, giving the light additional 3 8 inch mounting points as well as magnets. On the shorter PT1C, that is not necessary. Instead, you've got magnets built directly into the end caps, which can be rotated to adjust the mounting angle. And that wraps up my first impression and a really quick look at the new Pixel Tubes from Amaran. Links below if you're interested in picking some of these up, and I'll see you around.